Total internal reflection. The figure shows, a laser beam is pointed to one side of an aquarium filled with water. At the correct angle of incidence, the laser beam is found to be reflected from the water surface. The boundary between the water and air, acts like a perfect plane mirror where total internal reflection occurs. Total internal reflection is the total reflection of a beam of light, at the boundary of two medium, when the angle of incidence in the optically denser medium exceeds a specific critical angle. A light ray is allowed, to enter the curved face of a semicircular glass block, as shown in the following diagram. When the angle of incidence is zero at the glass air boundary, the ray emerges without deviation. When the light ray is inclined at the angle of incidence, I, it is bent away from the normal since it is traveling from a denser to a less dense medium. As the angle of incidence increases, the angle of refraction of the emerging ray also increases. When the critical angle C, is reached, the refracted ray passes exactly along the glass air boundary. The critical angle is defined as the angle of incidence in the denser medium, for an incident ray to be refracted at 90 degree in the less dense medium. If the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle C, the ray will be reflected back into the denser medium, instead of emerging from glass into air. This is known as total internal reflection. The two conditions for the occurrence of the total internal reflection are the light rays travel from an optically denser medium to a less dense medium. The angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Relationship between critical angle C and refractive index N. Consider a light ray incident at the boundary between two media at the critical angle C being refracted at 90 degree to the normal. In accordance with the formula for refractive index, the incident ray travels from air to the medium. Thus, the path of the ray of light is reversed as shown in the diagram. Light traveling in reverse direction at an angle of incidence of 90 degree, will be refracted along the same path at an angle of refraction equal to C. From the formula of refractive index N, equal to sin I, over sin R, the refractive index from air to the denser medium, can also written as N, equal to 1, over sine of critical angle. Thank you for taking time to watch this.